What's up, Ian? How you doing, dude? Hey, what's up, Sleepy? Good to see these. Oh, they're going right into it. Yeah, I thought they had a hand or something. Do that also the Arcadian winner. Arcadian champ going yeah. up against all the prospective Arcadian winners. So I know for uh, for many years, uh, Lynx have kind of liked or been okay with the matchup against Marth. And I think uh, that's, the, even though the the tech got harder for, for Link to deal with, I think Link's have so enjoyed because Marth had a pretty good combo way, and you can kind of compete with him because uh, the projectile game is pretty strong. Oh yeah, Marth absolutely combos the daylights out of Link, but uh, Link can keep him out very easily. Sometimes it's incredibly annoying for Link, or for Marth to even get in on him. Oh, that he might do it. Ooh, I think he could have just grabbed yeah. ledge there. Yeah, he, he was trying to get him with the down tilt, but I don't think that that's ever going to be fast enough with these sweet spots. Ooh. I don't think Marth can actually hit that, but I'm not sure. Uh, Marth can hit it, uh, depending on, like, like... He can't hit that some of the drift backs, but he can't hit the, the one that goes straight up. Ooh, tippers him on the slow get up. It's a full, uh, small lead from, from Dublad here. Yeah, you know, that stock was a little closer than I think Dublad wanted. Yeah. We can see Bravo t often take his time. He doesn't want to you know, try to force things too hard. Yeah, he's trying to force this, or not force it, but he's trying to get himself a kill set up with one of these bombs. Yeah, trying to put himself in a good position for it. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, he doesn't. Del he delays that fare afterwards a little bit too much. But taking his time, it, you know, it worked out for him because he only took 30, 31 percent. It's not that much. Mm. <laughs> up throw. Marth's crab range. Nice. Wow, that was sick. Ooh. Cut him dashing forward with the up smash and a shield. Kind of an ill-advised down smash, but he doesn't get punished too hard for it. Ooh, I think these fairs. Rob was doing a really good job of uh, ACIing down and you know, being able to punish some of Dubat's you know, misspaced aerials or early aerials. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Goes oh. deep, but it works out. Yeah. I oh. think. Ooh. <laughs> No invincibility on the ledge. You, you, you can do a, a perfect slow there, but it's, it's it's really difficult. Yeah, definitely not easy. I gotta say, Brawl was like, he had a lot of sick setups with the bomb and boomerang out of shield, especially. He's made it kind of weird for Dubat in close quarters combat situations. Ooh, he keeps ledge dashing into that shield, and Dublet's gonna grab that every time. Ooh. <laughs> Reading him running in. That's some Dublet stuff. Dublet special right there. That's what, one of the Arcadia. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, okay. He's so good, he's so good. Oh. Yeah, but there's that drift back, right? I've seen a lot of Marth's counter there. Is that actually a well-advised idea for yeah, yeah. edgeguarding it? Counter's definitely pretty good in that situation. Oh, they're both scared. <laughs> so Standoff. Marth can actually shield pressure with forward air and down tilt in a situation uh, on, on Link's shield. Link literally cannot retaliate out of it. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure what was up beable and what isn't. Ooh. I think he landed there. Good ledge dash. Staying out of the range of all the nair pressure. Oh, Ooh, that nice. Sick. That was nice. Ooh, Z drop. Yeah, the, the, the jump out of show bomb has gotten uh, Bravo out of a lot of weird situations. Uh, once again, close quarters. He goes for a big risk up B. It's an average punish. I think mean, he could have probably extended that without fair, but he wants something fancy. Ooh, he's dead. That's gotta, that's gonna be it. Wow. What a weird drift scenario for, for Bravo and Dublet. Yeah, he just drifted completely out and caught him trying to get back. That was sick. What a, this is a huge risk from Bravo, but he was at like 100 something, so I guess it. You know, exactly, well. even if it doesn't pan out, it's, it's great risk rewards there. He's wearing the Nero tag today. I wonder if that's a reference to Double May Cry. Could be. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Nero's sick, dude. It looks like Dublet, uh. Oh, his controller's. Doing some weird stuff. He's actually using a new. He, well, he might have switched back to his normal controller, but yeah. his normal controller has been having issues with the drift today, so he borrowed a controller for the first match, and maybe he's not feeling it. Yeah, I think he's definitely. It's definitely. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Okay, I guess it's easy. The okay reset now. looks like it. It probably helped out. Yeah, it's. Took him a couple tries. And Yoshi is. I, I'm interested as to how hard of a counter pick this is. What do you. What are your opinions there? I mean, um, so Bravo was kind of winning out in the situations where, you know, they were next to each other, but it was because Bravo had room to pull a bomb. In this case, okay. significantly less room to pull a bomb. Yeah, because the distance is not necessary. Ooh, catches him edge canceling out. Oh, sick. And so this is an annoying situation because you got to deal with the boomerang and the bomb mm -hmm. as Marth. Oh. Ooh. 
doesn't sweet spot <laughs> it, but the shy guy. The shy guy shield. So you see Blitz uh, seeming to be more conscious of the fact that he's getting uh, punished with, with the light hit aerials. So he's trying to get the... Uh, oh! He does the cool thing. But he's trying to do uh, like safer, or weak or early hit aerials. And then he messed up. The thing that cost him there was he messed up his down, uh, downer spacing. Oh, we could have just that smash earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Solid DI by Bravo on the very last hit. Yeah, make sure he doesn't get the chain combo. Oh, uh, Link's he definitely could have punished that a little bit harder. Link's wow, grab. Link. Dude, definitely have some trouble edge guarding Bravo. Bravo's very tricky, but like you mentioned, the counter. I think the counter would make things a lot simpler. Yeah, he definitely has options that he's not exploiting. Oh, there's, that's so so concerned about up the edge shield. Just get him hit by a bunch. Also, since uh, Bravo's kind of forced to, to show the platforms a lot of the time. Oh no. Oh wow! Oh, Tippers him out of the down air. He says, my sword is better. Okay, so Dublet's still sort of having a little trouble finding his you know, way in without getting uh, Crash on Ray's tag down. Ooh, looks like the Ooh. more slightly inexperienced. Oh, the bomb saves him. Oh, that was a very risky down air. It's probably the most I've seen Bravo miss up the other shield in a long time. He's shielding it now. He's yeah, hitting yeah. the shield and he's shielding himself. That's the, that's the classic anti-link strat. Ooh, he does the Z Z chain off the ledge. Ooh, that like goes a, out there. A little more confident against Link off the stage now. No, he's trying more things out in the in the edge situation. So, yeah, just experiment. You'll figure out something. I mean, it's Link. Oh, that tech. Nice tech, and it kills. Him. <laughs> Bravo looks at Dublet, <laughs> gives him a head nod. Well played. And this card picks working out really well for Doobad. Yeah, those platforms, he loves them. He loves those platforms. His, his punish game has also looked very good on this stage. Ooh, Ooh this catches no, him. Yeah, there's no, not really any, any place for Link like, to go to there. He spaces the down air for a normal shield grab, forgetting that Link has a... Ooh! <laughs> yeah, double yeah. at Tipper. <laughs> Do that's really good at that. He's good, really good at catching you moving forward with an F smash. Yeah, uh, he really loves to read your dash ha habits with the uh, tippers in neutral. It's it's a big risk, but like when it, when it pays off for him, it pays off so big. And even if you shield it, only Luigi can do anything about it out of shield anyway. So. All right, so this this is really the exact opposite of Yoshi's, right? So much more space for Link to pull bombs and set things up for himself. Uh, the and combos this, are also a lot harder on this, the platforms here, too, for Mario. And this is interesting, too, because this is uh, actually, by Tristan taking a, or Bravo taking a game, it was a stark contrast to the first set. He he actually got kind of blown up when they played earlier in bracket. So he's definitely been uh, thinking about his, his loss. Yeah, I think that he knows the Marth matchup. He played with a, uh, a, a Georgia player named uh, D-Bag for a long time. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. D-Bag's very solid mark. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nice crouch cancel, though. Good reactions. Is he going to hit this, though? Mm. Oh, okay. Ooh. You get a, I think he could have downered there. Yeah, that yeah. definitely looked like a downer to me. Yeah. Well, I guess he wasn't sure if he had time or not. Nice shield. Oh, but he gets caught by the second <laughs> one. <laughs> you never start to do it twice in a row. That's uh, got a bomb. Marth does not want to have items most of the time. Oh, notoriously edge. atrocious item throw. So Dubai du knows that you know Link has trouble dealing with the, the temporary spacing and stuff like that, but Rob also knows that Dubai's going to abuse that. So he's doing a lot of ACI down, a lot of crouch canceling. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And Dubai crouch cancels have been great. Yeah, Dubai has to be uh, really close to you know frame perfect on his dash away and stuff like that. That's, that's weird. Another SD. That was weird. I normally don't see him mess up his ledge play. Honestly, it's like a big staple of his game. <laughs> Ooh, he, well, he gets the grab. <laughs> oh, and he grabs him out of the multi-spot dodge. The brawl tactics. Link actually has one of the better spot dodges in the game. Yeah, him and Young Link, absolutely. Oh, okay. See, Nubla, instead of uh, trying to roll on his dash back, he's just robbing to roll in that situation. Let's see if uh, Robo adapts to that. Ooh, Ooh, the Dr. Pee Pee. That was a 6 out of 
Oh, oh no. So Bravo picked the stage, you know, the recovery for Link should be slightly better here than Yoshi's in some regard in terms of, you know, being able to make it back from further away because Link is kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. But he's kind of flubbed his recovery multiple times. He's getting right on that spot dodge now. Yeah. He's double at, he's sniffing it out, he smells blood in the spot dodge. He's scared in shield, he doesn't want to get just Ooh. basically tipper space time. But yeah, that made it really difficult. Well, let's go. Wow. With the That's the second time. I, I never really see it. He's getting his up. He's blocked. He's being very telegraphed with it at this point. He yeah. wants that kill, and he gets he it. He gets it with an up B at 177. That's a very, very high percent. <laughs> it's kind of what you get, you get when you're picking that, though. Yeah, I mean, Marth lives a long time, too. Oh, and he just he just goes out there. Suicide fair. He was finally ready to, to cover the recovery. That, uh, Bravo did such a good, good job of being tricky with. Yeah, there, I mean, there's no options. Double out was said, I'm a stock up. I'm just going to go down there and kill myself with fair. It doesn't yeah, yeah. matter. And Bravo kind of thinking his choices, because, you know, that was his counter pick, and it didn't go for as well for him as he, he wanted it to. Will we see an FD Falcon? Do that does have the option to go Falcon. It looks like he's sticking with Marth this time. Yeah. I don't think this is, uh, he, he doesn't want a meme this time. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I feel like the platforms helped out Link more than having the neutral ground goes, because... Um, I actually think that... A piece of me really does think that he wanted... Oh, ooh! God, that was sick. A piece of me thought he might actually want the Falcon, but... No, no, no. <laughs> Probably, no, nah, no. Nah. Ooh. Probably could have gotten a grab or something, a little more high reward from that, but in the heat of the moment... Do that's definitely doing a better job of getting out of the Link stuff, right? Dealing with the Link stuff a lot better. Um, yeah, but he still has some small minor Ooh. spacing issues. Especially in the longer sets against characters like Link, you get time to figure out just what their tricks are. Right. Right there, he ch you got hit by the uh, Link out of the, with, the, with the weird nair drift um, out of the up throw multiple times. That time he waited and he tried to punish a little later, but oh wow! <laughs> I thought he had spaced around it. That was impeccable. I think it's because he leaned forward with the F smash. Oh, I see. Yep. Hit his hand. So FT's actually working out for Bravo pretty nicely. The, the punish game frame has been a little simplified with the lack of platforms. Um, and Dubat's forced to deal with the... Yeah, there's no escape from the projectiles. You have to deal with it one yeah, or another. Yeah. That's why I actually uh, really dislike links who haven't really grinded it out, taking Falcos to FT for the same reason. And Dubat's kind of, you know... This space, his aerials on shield a lot more this on this map than the other. Yeah, ones. I agree. It's kind of weird. The spacing has just been a little bit off, and he's getting punished every time. Oh, that is actually something he does quite often. I love it. Let's go. There's also the F throw tipper down smash. Oh yeah. Oh, power shield. Ooh. So he's more prepared for links out of shield options. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, pushed a little too far away. Is he, is he gonna take? Oh, nice crouch cancel to avoid huge punishment. ASDI down. ASDI down, right? Meat <laughs> nerds over here. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I think he ate his jump. <laughs> yep. Bravo gets the bomb jump, but it's unfortunately. Not enough. So do that, you know. Even though he, Bravo built up a lead very quickly with those two stocks, do that's kind of same it. He hasn't taken that much damage on this one. Yeah, he's definitely. He seems to be figuring out exactly how to deal with all this stuff on a flat ground. Yeah. Bravo's got these spot dust setups. Uh, ooh. So there, uh, I like to see do like kind of either roll or rib dash out of shield backwards to avoid the situation entirely as opposed to trying to force his way out of it. Exactly. I think he's trying to get close and fight him in those situations where it's just completely disadvantageous to engage at all. Uh, I think he could have smashed that one. Yeah. He crouched like he was going to. Right? Yeah. I thought. <laughs> I might be, I wouldn't be surprised to see a down smash on one of these upbees. I actually have seen him do that multiple times. I'm curious why I haven't seen it yet. Because he's just not quite comfortable yet. Oh, look at that. That's so scary. Did you do that? Now he has a, once again, he's regained his, his composure and spacing on the shield, the aerials. Because very difficult for Bravo. Great auto cancel in airs. I mean, they're so scary. And they're, oh, and he <laughs> spot dodges it himself. He counters a spot dodge with a spot dodge. Oh, no. That was, 
That was a shield poke, I believe. Yeah. Mars head just sticks out too much. That's a situation where he could have just like left, right? Ooh, he gets hit with the F smash, but the boomerang saves him. It's a situation where Dublat he gets the, the the space poke, and then he doesn't dash away immediately. He's having a little trouble with his, his tilt turns, his smash trip, I guess. Right. He's getting this tilt turn. Uh, maybe could have spaced the tipper, but it's something. Oh, Ooh, drifts this too far it. back. Yeah. He, he, he's scared because if you don't get that drift back, you can get hit by all of Mars moves. And uh, I, wonder, I have to wonder if part of the, the problems that Dublet's having with his uh, oh, his movement are from the controller. Yeah, his his. so what the issue was is that it doesn't turn That's around it. properly. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely coming into play here, it feels like, because a lot of situations where Dublet, he doesn't dash away frame perfect like he usually does. He doesn't get... He didn't turn around there for that punish on the upbeat. In a very simple situation to turn around in. Yeah, he, sure he has, and, and this is surprising to me in particular because he is impeccable at dashing between lasers. Yeah, yeah. He's so good at the, doing the smash and stuff, but I guess the controller's uh, Oh, ooh! The grab right. We're all bring, bringing it to game five. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> that, that boomerang I thought would do a lot more for him, but... It, it did more for Dublad. <laughs> he's the item against him. Oh, uh, yeah, see, see, yeah. yeah I, I, I think that this is small, small mess-ups that I don't expect to see from him. Right. The power shield. But you see, he's opting to say more, you know, right outside Link's range, uh, as opposed to crushing shooter, because he can't rely on the dash away right now. Which is, once again, kind of unfortunate for him, because that's a big part of his game. Oh, just calls it out. Uh, he doesn't hit the tipper, but Tristan or Bravo still doesn't punish. That was a really well spaced boomerang by by Bravo there. It was basically yeah. impossible for Mark to retaliate actually. Right outside the range where he ooh, and he calls it out. He finally gets that. Especially on battlefield, that chain is got to be used in kind of a telegraphed location. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just gets a jab. Uh, Tristan doesn't even try to cover that. Yeah, the previous attempt he went for the, the near off stage, but then he kind of messed up and edge canceled it. Ooh. Do that playing with more patience, he's definitely, you know, learned what he needs to do to, to outspace Link over the course of this set. It's been yeah. a very big difference. I really like the down tilts that I've been seeing in this game. Yeah, yeah, there's so much better space than they were earlier. That was pretty great. <laughs> Oh, uh, it still doesn't. Oh, he knew that boomerang was gonna come in there. Oh, oh, and he gets hit with the last part of Uppy. Oh, he tries the moon, <laughs> moon tactics. I, I feel like they're Bravo. Uh, Dubai can't just move out of shield, or he can wave dash. We wave dash back. He can light shield to avoid the shield poke entirely. And now we see kind of Bravo having trouble edge guarding Mark. Exactly. Yeah, it's a complete turnaround from what we saw in the earlier games. He gets, dash away. he gets the dash away, but that back row is a little greedy. He's feeling himself a little bit. Yeah, he just wants to hit that shield now. Yeah, because he knows he can do he can do it. Okay, good. I thought Tristan was going to go for a down air because yeah. he's been doing that in kind of obvious situations. We had the bomb there, so he couldn't, right? Oh, yeah. I always forget about the uh, items limiting your options. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. the threat. So heavy from, from Dublad. Ooh, and he's going to die from that. Well, it's pretty heavy because, he, you know, you can tell. It's yeah. 175, he basically barely died from that, I'm told. Dublad running away with this one. This is not Ooh. the, oh, this is not the, the game five that you wanted to see for, for Bravo, right? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, and he completely outspread out of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, he went for the same thing, the yeah. fair, the suicide fair. Yeah, he has a stock to play with, right? So yeah. If he figures, why not? Oh, oh. Uh oh, get something started. Ooh. Oh, but he dies away. Very good. Oh, the boomer is still barely out. But Dublight has told me one of his things that he likes in this matchup is he can F smash, and the boomerang will put him back out of lag. <laughs> Dublet, uh, famous for saying that the only reason he uses other moves as Marth is to unsail his F smash. Yes. He loves that move. The famous, the famous double act quote. Oh, and he just stands there. Ooh, okay. 
I like the up B on the up B. <laughs> Counter with your own. <laughs> Trying to move with the same move. Why not? Different character. Uh, he goes for the hard B. But, but he was safe there, right? Oh. Even if he, uh, even though the downer missed, he was still pretty safe. Oh, wow. that's it. <laughs> Good adaptations on both sides. <laughs> yeah, but I think Dubla ended up, you know, figuring out all the the small things that uh, Bravo was beating him for. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, Bravo started out very strong. He started out very very strong, and he had a, a lot of tricks that Dubla had to work his way around. You know, so. Yeah, over the course I, of the whole set, you saw Dubai getting hit by less and less of uh, Bravo's reads. Almost reminiscent of, uh, oh, Double Out's going to start Falcon against Harriet. This is what he always does. I don't quite understand it, but uh, he always does it. He likes his Falcon. He really, 